Hi there, today we're unboxing some Bluetooth headphones. So these particular headphones actually come with active noise cancelling built in and also boast a playback time of up to 50 hours. The company selling these actually also sell a headset stand as well, which is here. So I'll show that in conjunction of showing the actual headphones. So I've got the details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's initially have a look at the headphones. They come in a nice package, details there. Let's come to the back, just zoom in and show you some details. So we've got the actual Bluetooth version as being 4.1, got a transmission distance of 10 meters. And let's shoot down here to the battery. So the battery is 1050 mAh. There's the actual frequency range, some details there. Okay, so let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, got some cables here. Nice carry case. the headphones and some instructions. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you actually get with the headphones. Next, I'm gonna open the actual headset stand. So let me quickly show you the box. So we've got a picture of the actual stand itself and headphones resting on them. Okay, and pretty straightforward, should come in three components. Okay, so let's open it up. And they have three components. So tough plastic on that. Bit of a metal finish on that. Plugs in there. And a nice soft rubbery finish. And quite strong actually, so molded. And there you go. Okay, so we have everything laid out now. So let me quickly go through the items. So initially the instructions for the actual headphones, just to show folded piece of paper, one side's all in English and the other side is in Chinese. Okay, in terms of cables and adapter, got an adapter for an airplane, which is great. So you don't have to use the actual headphones they give you on an airplane. You can actually use these if you wanted to. And gold plated as well, which is nice. Okay, got a charging cable here. Doesn't feel cheap and nasty in any way. Actually feels quite good quality. Thick rubber around it and again, Build quality seems really good on this. Okay, so next, let me show you the actual auxiliary cable. Gold plated on both ends. Build quality seems good. Not a cheap and nasty feel to it, actually has a good feel to it. And a reasonable amount of cable on there. So this is the situation where the batteries run out and you wanna use it without your Bluetooth and use it directly. Okay, so next thing, the actual case. Tough. Plastic on there, there's obviously a zip and a small area there, so it opens up quite well. And obviously everything can fit within this if you wanted. So headphones like so, and the cables can just slot in there if you wanted with the adapter. So one package obviously has everything you need. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual headphones. So a foldable design on them. So if I pull them out, you can just see. It's quite nice, it's actually twistable as well. So just in one direction, have to add, which is all right and correct because if that's your right side and you've had them on, obviously this is how it would sort of rest on your shoulders. Now the actual design itself, all tough plastic. If I just come in close just to show. Okay, this is adjustable as well. The clamping force doesn't feel too heavy on there. Some headphones you can actually feel it sort of pushing inwards, which can be uncomfortable after a while, but these feel quite, quite loose, which is nice. In terms of comfort here, you've got some padding, a reasonable amount there, and sort of a, a leatherette sort of finish on both the top and the actual earpieces. 
Okay, it feels nice and soft, very comfortable, quite deep as well. If I get a ruler, just show you the actual depth of it, saying about two centimeters deep. The actual earpieces, let me show you that as well. So it's about nine and a half by, if I can get a good angle on this, saying around seven and a half to eight. So easy coverage of your entire ear on this. Now, let me come in a bit more closer just so you can see. Let me see if I come around here, you can see A and C, which is the active noise cancelling. So if you've got to press that to enable it, then you've got the charging point here and nothing else. And if I come onto the other side, you've got a few buttons on here as well. So you've got a plus selection and probably the minus. Then you've got the jack point and the microphone. So the jack is for the actual 3.5 mil cable. So build quality seems good. Okay, so let me show the actual headphones going onto the actual headset stand. Quite a cool way of actually storing them. If you're in your office or your desk area, quite a nice way of putting them if you didn't want to store them away each time. And again, the actual stand itself, it has some rubber pads on the bottom so it doesn't easily slip in any way. So it just stays secure in this one position. And again, you can use this stand for other headphones if you wanted as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to set up the actual headphones. So very straightforward. If we go to the three buttons that are at the side here and I hold on to the middle one, you can just hear power on. You can see the blue light flashing away. Let's give that a moment. And then that should start flashing red as well, meaning it's in pairing mode. So there you go, blue and red. So now if I get my mobile phone over and we turn on Bluetooth, let's drop this down, click there. Give it a moment just to start up. Yep, there you go. And we want to look for M1. So once you find that, click it. Connected. And there you go, it's connected. As simple as that to pair it. Now the next thing, let me play some music. I've got some music playing out of the actual earpieces at the moment. Let me turn it on to the maximum. So the two controls here, they allow you to increase the volume and decrease. So it's just a single click. Hear it going down and going back up again. If I hold on to it, skips to the next track. As simple as that. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a sound level meter, which is here, and we're gonna measure the actual decibel output on one of the earpieces. If I hold it in place like so. Wow gets to about 84 decibels. So pretty loud on a single ear. So gotta be careful if you own something like this. Don't wanna go deaf from just blaring music into your ear. So yeah, easily 84 decibels. Okay, so let me have a test of these and let you know what I think of them. Okay, so I've tried out the headphones. I've got my app out here and done adjustments on the actual equalizer settings on this and I'm blown away. The sound quality coming out of these headphones is absolutely amazing. Treble, mid-range and bass, very impressive. At loud volumes as well, you don't hear any sort of distortion on there. And I have to admit, they do market it as having very deep bass and the bass is very impressive on these. The actual clamping force as you're wearing them isn't very heavy, so it doesn't feel too uncomfortable. So if you're using it for long periods, you wouldn't feel any sort of discomfort from these. And also the cushioning on this, if I just cover them slightly, does blank out a little bit of the sound as well. So quite nice and sound quality really good. So I wouldn't say they're a high end, I wouldn't say they're a low end, but mid range wise, they're excellent. Okay, so for the next test I did, I actually tested out 
the active noise cancelling. So that's activated by pressing this button here. And then what you'll notice is this green light comes on. So when that comes on, it actually attempts to reduce the actual low level frequencies that are around you. So this will be a situation where you're around noisy traffic or trains are going past which are quite noisy. So you'll actively try to reduce this noise. So in the actual literature for the headphones, you'll read, it says, uh, frequency waves between 150 and 450 hertz are actually removed by that. Now, in terms of general noise, so say for instance, the human voice or high frequency waves, um, these can't be completely eliminated, but you do notice an active sort of difference once you do click it. And it is quite impressive. You don't have to have it too loud and there is a clear reduction. And that's also helped by the fact that the actual earpieces cover your entire ear and obviously it's cocooned in these. So the sound is from outside reduced quite considerably. So quite impressed and it does work quite well. Okay, so another feature of these headphones is the actual built-in microphone. So if I just turn at an angle, it's just there. Now, let me attempt to make a call on the actual phone and we can see what the quality is like. Let me ask the person at the other end. So making a call right now, let me turn the volume on max. So hopefully you should be able to hear. There you go. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, so I'm just phoning you off a new set of headphones I'm reviewing. What's the sound quality like? I'm not actually wearing them at the moment, but is it pretty clear from that distance? Yeah, the sound is really clear. I can hear you really clearly. Excellent, excellent. That's all I wanted to check. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. There you go. Even the microphone is amazing on this. Okay, so if you've finished listening to music and you just wanted to rest them on your shoulders, very convenient. You can actually twist the actual ear pieces and rest them down below so the actual size of them don't actually bump into you and feel uncomfortable. So another cool design feature on this one. Okay, so the next thing worth showing is the actual 3.5 mil jack. So pretty straightforward. I can just turn the headphones off if I hold on to that. Just here, power off, no lights are flashing, plug in one end there, and then your other end can just be plugged into your phone or device. And then let me hit play. There you go. So a good little backup here, and a nicely built cable as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna show how to charge the headphones. So very straightforward. So you take the cable, the micro USB end here, plug it in like so, and the other end, we just plug straight into a charging point. And there you go, simple as that. And you see a red light come on underneath just to indicate that it's charging. It's very straightforward. And again, playback time they say is around 50 hours on this. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of these Bluetooth headphones. Really impressed for a mid-range price. These are great headphones. Very deep bass on these and clarity is absolutely amazing. Build quality wise, it's great and very comfortable to wear. Also nice to have a stand to actually have in your office or games room. So quite a nice way of storing it. So there you go, details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.